Hey guys, in today's video, well, I pulled off the rear trailing arm, as you can see, and one of my bolts that holds the trailing arm on broke. Let me quickly show you guys. So there it is. See that, guys? Right there, broken bolt. There's no way to get inside the frame. Um, the car is solid. This is Canada. It looks rusty, but... Everything is solid on this car. In today's video, guys, I am going to show you how to fix that. Let's get into it right away. Okay, so the first thing we got to do, guys, is we're going to grab a grinder with a grinding desk. And we're just going to flatten this out so it's nice and flat. Okay, so that is what you want, see? It's just uh, nice and flat, see? So it's got a nice flat surface. So now, you gotta take a center punch and punch a perfect little hole right in the middle of that. I'm gonna go try to find my center punch right now. Okay guys, I can't find my punch for the life of me, so I am just gonna use a flat, or a screwdriver. It's a good brand name one. And I'm gonna punch a hole right in the middle. There, that worked. Okay guys, next, you're gonna need a drill bit, but it's gotta be a really, really good brand name, professional drill bit. Like you can't just go buy a whole set and use those. Like one of these might even be $5. So here's the original nut. So it's smaller. And then I'm using an electric drill. Uh, we're gonna put that on and we're gonna try to drill into it. But like I said, you need a good industrial strength drill bit, guys. Okay, let's drill into this. So look how much it drilled in already because it's a good drill bit, look. Like that much already, in real time, guys. Camera fell. There we go. Okay, see, we got a nice pilot hole right in the middle of that. Okay guys, I just noticed something that I just want to show you guys. It's always good to look around, right? So, I don't know for sure yet, but I noticed up here, right? Um, see, look, it's like soft there. Not from rust, it just looks like it's been like siliconed over. I'm gonna open this up, maybe we can see it. That will make for an even better video, guys. So let me open this right up and I'll show you guys inside. Oh yeah, it's just like, see, like a factory cover. See, it's always good to check. Okay, let's take a look in there, guys. So there you go, see? Pretty good access to that hole. See, there's that little hole we drilled through. Um, yeah, everything looks solid in there. We're obviously gonna fill the car with oil after so it doesn't ever rust again. Okay, so what we're going to do now, guys, and I mean, yes, you could just drill it out now and just put a nut and a bolt in our case, right? But we're going to pretend like that hole is not there. Um, and I'll show you how to fix it if you had no access. Okay, um, let's go over to my drill bit setup. Okay, guys, so pay attention to this next part because this is where the magic happens. So this is my tap and die set right here. I got this at Tool Town a while back for like $30 or something. So now, what you gotta do is, I got the original nut from one of the other studs that didn't broke, right? So in my bolt drawer, I went in there and I found, you know, a bolt that it fits. So now I know that this is the thread I have down there in the car, right? So then I went into my tap and die set, right? And I matched it up. 
so you can tell by looking at it. And then you match up the threads like this, watch. See if they go into each other. See, like that. Then you know this is the same, right? So then on here, it tells me that it is a uh, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 1.5 thread, right? So then what I did is I went to Intercity Industrial, which is like an industrial place where they sell bolts and drill bits and stuff, right? And I basically brought them this bolt, right? This, this thing here. And they matched me up with the right size drill bit. So that way I can drill a hole in that little pilot hole and then re-tap it, get it? And then we'll have a nice thread for our replacement bolt that they also sold me. And then that way you can just put a bolt in there, right? The only thing is you gotta know what size drill bit to get, guys. So here's a little chart I found on Google to give you like a reference. So for example, for a 10 millimeter, 1.5 uh, or one times five thread, right? you need an 8.5 millimeter uh, drill bit. But this is a really, really good expensive drill bit, guys. This was $15 for one drill bit. Okay, let's go into the car and drill through, guys. Oh yeah, and here's that chart. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so now what you want to do is WD-40 so the, so the tip doesn't get too hot and burn. Do a little bit, a little bit of loop, and again. Showing you guys in real time here. And that's that, that literally took a minute. Okay, so that's what that looks like. So you got a nice juicy hole. The only thing we're gonna do now is, I'm just gonna gra grab the grinder and I'm gonna flatten this out. See a little bit sticking out. Um, the drill bit, I'm gonna label that it's a $15 one because it's still good for uh, many more holes, guys. You don't wanna mix it up with crappy ones. Okay, I'm gonna grab the grinder and do that really quick. Okay guys, we got our tap here, um, 10 times 1.5, let's do this. The drill is slipping. Okay, so I got a little wrench here. I'm gonna try to screw it in manually now. Realistically, guys, I should have bought a nice tap just like I bought the nice drill bit. This one seems like kind of dull, but it is what it is. For some leverage. Okay, I'm gonna back it out again. It's just really hard. Okay guys, that honestly probably took about 15 minutes going back and forth, back and forth, each time doing like a quarter turn more. 
But I got it all the way through now. So now all we're gonna do is, we're just gonna screw it in, uh, tilt the threads all the way in, and then we're gonna screw it out. And that's that. Might even be able to do it without this now. See, just like that. So I'm gonna screw it all the way in, not all the way through, you don't want it to fall in there, but. See how nice that's working? So yes, guys, uh, maybe buy a nice expensive uh, tap for the future, okay? I'm almost all the way in, and then I'm just gonna screw it out. Okay, guys, so there it is, as you can see. Look at that, we got a nice threaded hole. So now you just wanna blow it out with a air compressor, get all the shavings off, watch your eyes. Uh, we're gonna screw in the bolt, see how it screws in. Okay guys, let's try this bolt out. Well, as you can see, that totally worked. Um, there you go. So I mean, put some Loctite on it and that should be good. Do everything at your own risk, guys. This is for entertainment only. What I'm actually gonna do, since I have access from the top, I'm actually gonna screw this in from the top and I'm gonna have it sticking out. Okay, my beautiful viewers. So there it is. In my case, I was able to screw it in from the top. So this is like perfect. But in your case, if you were worried about it backing out, if you were just putting in a bolt, what you could do is you could just buy a stud uh, like not a bolt, an actual stud. You could screw in the stud, right? And then you could just tack it with a welder on each corner, just zzz, zzz, right? Grind off the weld a little bit with an angle grinder. And then when you put, uh, you know, your suspension back on or whatever, if the thread's a little bit damaged here, you could just put a couple washers, right? And then put your nut. And that is that, guys. So I hope you guys Throw me a subscription and a thumbs up, guys. I would really appreciate it. And this is actually an entire series of restoring an old Volkswagen MK1, guys. Extremely detailed episodes, whole entire series. You guys should click on the link and check out the whole series, guys. Thanks for watching Problem Solver Garage. Till next time, everybody. Mm -hmm.